I have wandered alone for many years, little Misha. Yet sometimes even I grow weary of this endless solitude. I have watched the other races. I have seen their squabbling, their ruthlessness. Their wars do nothing but scar the land and drive the wild things to extinction. No, they cannot be trusted. Only beasts are above deceit. A battle. Come, you mongrels. Taste the steel of Mogren, Jax. Hold fast, stranger. You shall not stand alone. Damned cowards. Your stomach's been split open. I can do little to ease your pain. I know. This would be a good death, if not for my failure. Failure? I was to deliver a crucial report to my chieftain in the lands below. But now, I have failed him. I have lost my honor. I will deliver your message, old one. For the sake of honor, I will uphold your charge. Akamagosh, warrior. Thank you. Seek out the city of Orgrimmar. Find war chief Thrall. Tell him. <sighs> May the winds bear you swiftly to your ancestors, warrior. Well, Misha, it seems we'll be seeing civilization after all. Let's get moving. A warrior city. I have not seen its like in many years. Stay close to me, Misha. Shore up those supports. When the Razor Winds kick up again, they'll tear those roofs right off. Yes, War Chief. A moment, War Chief. I come to deliver a message. How did you come by this report? Where is Mogren? He fell in the wilds. His last wish was that you receive this message. Who are you, warrior? I am Rexar, last son of the Mokhnathal. Mokhnathal? I've heard tales of your people. They had both orc and ogre blood in their veins. It is an honor. We've built this kingdom, Duratar, for all of our kind. Duratar is as much your home as it is mine, Rexar. Stay a while. Accept what hospitality we can offer. It is the least we can do. Perhaps I have spent too long in the wilds. Your offer is kind, Thrall, but I must carry my own weight. Just show me what needs doing, and I'll earn my keep. <laughs> I understand. Founding a nation is tiresome work, and there are many around here that could use your help. Simply talk to them, and they will point you in the right direction. This is Rokan of the Darkspear tribe. He is one of my best scouts. How you doing, man? Ah, you're one of the Magnathal. I am Drekthar. I fought alongside your elders on Draenor many years ago. Still, if you've come to help, I do have a simple task for you. I've been concocting a special potion that will aid our warriors in battle. However, I'm missing a key ingredient. I require Shimmerweed, but the rare herb can only be found in the valley known as Thunder Ridge. Normally, I would gather the herbs myself, but the Thunder Lizards from whom the valley is named have become increasingly hostile of late. If you retrieve six bushels for me, I will reward you handsomely. Greetings, warrior. I am Nazgul, captain of the War Chief's security force. We've been having problems with the indigenous creatures attacking our borders. Perhaps you can help. The Harpies of the Northern Foothills have been ransacking our supply caravans for weeks. If you can find their lair and put an end to their rampage, I'll see to it that you're rewarded. 
Ah, new guy, huh? I'm Gazlo, chief engineer around these parts. But enough about me. We got work to do, buddy. You see, me and my boys have been dredging out tunnels beneath the city, looking for underground wells. Problem is, we dug straight into a den of kobolds. Now those rat freaks are running willy-nilly all over our tunnels. I need you to hook up with my boys and seal those kobolds back in their hole. Yeah, just find the tunnel entrance outside of town and my boys will set you straight. Whoa, you're a big one! Gaslow City be sending some muscle! Do you goblins have a plan? Of course! If you can get us close enough to the tunnel support beams, we'll blast them to smithereens! Got to collapse the ceiling on top of those rats and fix our problem up real nice! Ah, Thromkar, Rexar. The others tell me you've been a great help to them. I appreciate all you've done for us. Thromkar, Rexar. I spoke to Thrall about the humans encroaching on our lands. I, for one, don't trust them at all. I'd like you to report to our outlying watch post and meet with my lieutenant, Garthok. I need to know if they've spotted any suspicious activity along the border. Thrumka, warrior. We haven't seen any signs of human activity, but the local quillbores have been getting bolder. There is an observatory nearby that helps us spot potential threats. You might want to check it out, but be warned, the quillbores roam the entire area. Gold Kosh! If only there was a way to root them out, we could end their threat once and for all. Now I can activate the telescope and survey the surrounding lands. Blast! It looks like the beginnings of an invasion. There's far too many of them for me to handle alone. Are you certain of what you saw, Rexar? I can't imagine that Jaina would send troops so close to our border. This does not bode well at all. Pact or no pact, I won't allow anything to jeopardize the security of our nation. I heard about the human ships, War Chief. What are your orders? I want you both to head back to that watch post and keep an eye on the humans. We can't let this situation escalate out of control. What if they're hostile, War Chief? I'd prefer that the humans remain unharmed. But if they prove hostile in any way, you have my permission to slaughter them. Ah, Rexa, I'm glad you're here. I've been studying the Thunder Lizards for some time. The creatures almost never leave this valley, but lately they've been migrating out in greater numbers. As you've seen, they've also become highly aggressive. Something must be riling them up. Let's investigate the ridge and see if we can find any clues. Oh, and if you find any of their eggs, I'd love to study them. Look, more orcs! Our intelligence was right. We best head back to base and report. Humans? What could they be doing here? We allied with the humans at the Battle of Mount Hyjal. Our two races have been at peace ever since. Still, it's strange that they would venture so far into our lands. A human lumber mill. They've cut down all of the trees. That's got to be what's driving the Thunder Lizards mad. We should destroy the mill immediately. No. Our war chief signed a non-aggression pact with the humans. Destroying their holdings could lead us to open war. For now, we must put the raging lizards down before they cause any more harm. We'll have to deal with the humans later. No. We're too late. The camp's already been razed. There are human tracks everywhere. They lead back towards the coast. The human scum will pay dearly for this. Blood for blood, life for life, Rotaro Gar! This anchor emblem on their shields. Have you ever seen it before? 
Orcs! We've been followed! To arms, men! To arms! Come, human dogs! Taste the wrath of the Horde! You did all you could, my warriors. Above all else, you kept Duratar safe. Yet this anchor sigil you describe does seem oddly familiar. I just can't place it. Pardon, boss man, but if the humans be coming from the sea, my tribe on the Echo Isles could be deep in the danger too. Don't worry, Rokan. You have my word that I won't let anything happen to your people. I have an urgent mission for you, Rexar. That human fleet poses a serious threat to the trolls that live on the Echo Isles. I need you to take a zeppelin to the Isles and warn the trolls about what's happening. If you can, try to convince them to join us on the mainland. There's no telling what dangers lurk on these isles. I'll have to move quickly and find the troll's village. I be Vol'jin, leader of the Darkspear tribe. It be good that the Warchief send you when he did, man. Our villages already be under attack by the human fleet. We got no time to waste. Even now, the humans' battleships be blasting away at our coastal villages. You have little chance of defeating such a force on your own, Vol'jin. You should evacuate your tribe to the mainland and unite with the War Chief's forces. Though I hate to be abandoned in our homes, your plan be a wise one. However, we got to destroy those battleships before the evacuation can begin. Oh, these wily ones will serve you well, man. Their talent for destruction be mighty. We have no flying mounts, Vol'jin. We'll be useless on land. Oh, won't be a problem, man. Now, this be feeling a bit strange. Whenever you want to get your legs back, just land in the Ritual Circle. Remember, you must destroy at least five of the human ships before we can commence with the evacuation. Well done. You saved my tribesmen. The outer villages be ready for the evacuation. They await only the signal to begin. In order to signal the evacuation, you gotta light the five signal braziers scattered across the islands. When you're done, the rest of me tribe will set sail for the mainland. But be careful, man. There be more dangerous foes than humans prowling the jungle. I'm glad you returned safely, Rexar. You've done well. My scouts have informed me that the Dark Spear trolls have landed further down the coast. They'll be much safer under the Horde's protection. Still, the situation with the humans has intensified. I've received word that they're sending an emissary to parley with me. We're to meet at Razor Hill around midnight. I don't know, Thrall. It sounds like a trap to me. Let me go in your place. I can't imagine that Jaina Proudmoore would ever set me up, Rexar. Even so, I'm not one to run from a fight. Just trust me. If you're right, we'll have lost nothing. This is it. The meeting place lies just beyond. Greetings, humans. It's about time you showed up. What is the meaning of this? This... Ogre cannot be the Orc War Chief. And you are not Jaina Proudmore. Jaina? Why would you think she would be? Ugh, enough of this drivel. We'd hope to corner your wretched War Chief, but you will have to suffice. Strike! Assassins! I knew this was a trap! 
tell me who sent you, human. Was it Jaina? Foolish beast. You have no idea what's coming for you. It is only just beginning. You were right, Rexar. I should have trusted your instincts. Still, I can't believe Jaina would try something like this. Hmm, perhaps it's time we took a more direct approach. Rexar, I've written a letter to Jaina Proudmore asking her to account for all this madness. I want you to infiltrate her base on Theramore Isle and deliver it to her, personally. You can count on me, Thrall. But I may need help bypassing the humans' defenses. I've chartered this Zeppelin to take you to the Darkspear tribe's new village. Once you get there, Vol'jin will see that you get all the help you'll need. Good luck, Rexar. The future of Duratar is in your hands. Greetings, man. My tribe be honored by your visit, though I know you got big matters to be attending to. Sneaking onto Theramore Isle be no easy task. Luckily, there be one who can help you. He waits for you by the shipyard. To reach him, follow the road out of town. We heard reports that the human fleet patrols the channel between the mainland and Theramore Isle. Be wary, man. They could stand between you and the sorceress you see. From Ka, brother. I am Samuro. My humble skills are yours. Vol'jin entrusted me with a batch of explosive wards filled with an unstable concoction. If I can place them on some critical structures, I could create enough of a distraction to allow you to sneak across the channel in this boat. Big. Jaina Proudmoore, I am Rexar. I bear a message from Warchief Thrall, the same Warchief you tried to kill. He is curious as to why your warriors encroach on our lands and threaten us with war. What are you talking about? I do not seek Thrall's death, nor do I have any intention of betraying the pact we made. Perhaps. But the fact remains that your ships and your warriors have been raiding our encampments on the mainland. I had to bypass a large encampment just to reach you. I assure you, I ordered no such attacks. Lead me to these troops, Rexar. I want to see them for myself. Rexar? Those don't look like humans to me. Those snake creatures! They must have destroyed the camp and slaughtered your brethren. <laughs> We're too late. The serpents already killed them all. Wait, this one's still alive. Mistress Jaina? We found you at last. The Admiral will be... overjoyed. Is it even possible? We've got to get back to Theramore immediately. But what? Just try. made it 
in time. You've got to get word back to Thrall that... I don't understand. What's this all about? Those Marines. I know who they are, Rexar. They're... It's too late. He's here. Jaina, bless the stars, I've found you at last. When I heard that Lordaeron fell, I despaired. But I knew you'd find a way to escape. I... What is this? An ogre? Father, wait. Father? The Horde is no longer our enemy. The orcs have their own kingdom now, we... You have always been naive, my daughter. You aren't old enough to remember what these monsters did to our homeland. The orcs and their kin cannot be trusted. They must be exterminated like the mongrels they are. I won't let you do it, Father. You don't understand. I understand more than you suspect, my dear. Perhaps in time, you will too. Seize them all! I'm acting on instinct. This should do nicely. Now all I have to worry about are the harbor gates. Proudmoor's marines have closed the harbor gates. I'll need to bust them open before I can escape. If I can make it to the open. I'm glad you escaped, Rexar. And don't worry. We'll send word to Thrall about the Admiral's fleet. If that human's planning on attacking Duratar, he'll find the warriors of the Horde ready to greet him. It'd be taken to Warchief some time to amass the Horde's warriors. You gotta gather what allies you can find before the Admiral makes his move against Duratar. Take this Zeppelin and travel to Mulgore. The mighty Tauren who be living there will lend what help they can. Seek out the chieftain Cairn Bloodhoof. He will honor his oath to the war chief. You traveler, why have you come here? I come in the name of Thrall, war chief of the Horde. His lands are in danger, and he calls upon his old allies to aid him. I seek the one known as Cairn. Do you know him? I am Cairn, but I can be of help to no one. Return to your war chief and tell him that I am dead, just as my heart is dead. The barbarous centaur attacked our village recently. Our chieftain's only son, Bane, was taken captive. The centaur are cannibals and do not keep prisoners for long. We searched everywhere for a sign that Bane was still alive, but we found no trace of him. Poor Cairn has been lethargic for some time. Without his wisdom and leadership, I fear that the centaur will decimate our tribe. Perhaps if you could find some clue as to his son's fate, it might rouse the chieftain from his stupor. Find the Boven Wind Totem out on the plains. He and his brethren will aid you on your search. With Cairn grieving as he is, many of our enemies have been gaining a foothold in our lands. The vicious harpies of the Stone Talon Mountains have been poaching our precious Kodo herds. The Kodo's meat and hides are essential to our survival. But the harpies slaughter the beasts and leave their carcasses to rot in the sun. It would be a great help if you would hunt the witches down and end their poaching once and for all. We are in your debt, warrior. The harpies will not trouble us again for many seasons. Still, I fear that without our chieftain's leadership, our tribe's prosperity will fade. Greetings, Brother Windtotem. I was told you could help me locate Chieftain Bloodhoof's son. There may still be a chance that the boy lives, but we'll need to find the Centaur encampment as quickly as possible. 
I see. I dreamed of this. Nag Radabash. That's the centaur encampment. They could be keeping Bane in one of those cages, but we'll have to fight our way to them. Don't worry, Bane. We'll have you back to your father in no time. Bane, my son. I thought I'd lost you forever. I was an old fool to despair. Rexa, by returning my son to me, you have given me new life. For that I will ever be grateful. Now, you said that your war chief was in trouble, that the Horde needed the Tauren once again. Well, Thrall did much for us in his time, and we will not fail him. My warriors will rendezvous with the war chief upon the battlefield. But I will be returning with you. Ah, uh, you return just in time, Rexar. Our scouts found this wounded ogre near the borderlands. Despite his wounds, he came all the way here seeking help. Must help. New warlord conquer clan. Kill many warriors. Lead clan to ruin. Brothers not survive. Me seek help. New warlord, huh? Don't worry, friend. I think I can help you. Have your witch doctors tend to his wounds, Vol'jin. I'm going to pay a little visit to his clan and meet this new warlord for myself. That must be the Ogre's village. I should fit right in. You no know welcome, half-breed. You no know Stonemaw warrior. Look, I don't want any trouble. I just want to talk with your warlord. You want talk, Korgal? You get past us. You fight good, half-breed. You mock Nathal. Have weak orc blood in veins. Still, you strong. Why you come here? I've, uh, come to join your clan. I want to be a Stonewall, too. You got some over blood. You got right to join. But do you got the strength? We see, half-breed. We see. So, you want to join the Stonewall clan? First, you take trial of strength. Need find the gauntlet. Harsh valley full of big foes. Slave foes, run the gauntlet. That proves strength to us. Go now, half-breed. We see if you return. You got strength after all, half-breed. You worthy to be Stonewall. Now you in. What you want from clan? I want you and your warriors to help the Horde battle the humans. The Stonewall clan would be a great asset to the Orc War Chief. <laughs> Stupid half-breed! We ogres split from Horde long ago! They weak, soft. We no owe them nothing. Long as I rule, Stone Mall's no help, no orcs. Then perhaps you've ruled long enough. Korgal, as a member of the Stone Mall clan, I claim the right to challenge you for leadership. We had no real challenge in long time, half-breed. Breaking you be fun. We both take trial of blood. Me and you. No tricks, no magic toys. Just muscle and skills. You think me dumb. You think me slow. Now you see why Korgal rules clan. I underestimated Korgal's skills. I'll need to call upon my beasts to defeat him. Rexar! 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 I have defeated Korgal in single combat. I have passed the trial of blood. I rule Stonemall clan now, and I command you all to war. You ogres arm yourselves and meet the orc war chief upon the plains. 
blood and glory to the Stonemaul clan. You be tougher than I imagined, Rexar. The ogres be a great help when the battle begins. We just get word that the war chief and his forces set up the command post in the central basin. The Tauren and ogres you gathered going to be joining them soon. Check in with Thrall at his base. The battle against Admiral Proudmoore's forces could start up at any time. Once again, you have done the Horde a great service, Rexar. I am in your debt. If you're willing, there's one last thing I need before the hammer falls. We've crafted a new standard for Duratar, a mighty banner bearing the symbol of the Horde. I want to place a shamanistic blessing on it, but I require a few items to complete my spell. Would you gather them for me? Of course, Thrall. I'd be proud to. Your efforts may have saved us all, Rexar. The Yogur and Toran conscripts you've rallied could turn the tide in our favor. Proudmoor's forces have established a stronghold due north of our position. Our scouts report that he's mobilized all of his standing forces for an attack on Duratar. War Chief, Admiral Proudmoor's forces have begun their advance. They'll be here any moment. Let them come. They'll find the Horde to be more than they bargained for. Rexar, you've earned the honor of drawing first blood. I'll hold the defenses here, but I want you to lead the attack against Proudmoor's base. Gladly. All right, you warriors. The hour of victory has arrived. Come, you Tauren. Rise up, you ogres. Today, you stand united with the Horde. Look to our Ogar! routed the human forces on the mainland, but it appears that Admiral Proudmoore and his marines have pulled back to the safety of Theramore Isle. I wish this was the end of it, Rexar. But so long as Admiral Proudmoore lives, he'll never stop hounding us. We must press our attack and lay siege to Theramore itself. I only pray that Jaina is safe. She had nothing to do with her father's agenda. But unfortunately, invading her citadel is the only option we have left. War Chief, our troops are ready. But the Admirals assembled a blockade of battleships around Theramore. There's no way we can match their firepower. Damn it, I should have thought of this sooner. We've got to find some way to... Thrall, Rexar, I come in peace. You must believe me, I had no part in my father's plans. I wish none of this had ever happened. I... I don't know what to do. We've bled together on many battlefields, Jaina. We've faced untold perils as allies. But your father threatens the security of our nation and the very future of my people. You know how this has to end. I know, Thrall. Do what you must. There is a goblin shipyard on a nearby island that could provide you with warships of your own. With those, you could scatter the blockade surrounding Theramore. But please, spare my men if you can. My father will try to use them against you, but they're the only real family I'll have left when this is over. Please do this. For me. We'll do all we can, Jaina. You have my word. Now you'd better make yourself scarce. The battle's about to begin. Our forces are ready, Thrall. It's 
now or never. See it done, Rexar. I'll meet you at Theramore. The blockade is broken. Board the transports, quickly! We must land on Theramore and crush the Admiral's defenses. You've done well, Rexar. You're a natural leader. You remind me of Hellscream, in a way. Thank you, War Chief. Now only one task remains. We must storm the Citadel and deal with Admiral Proudmoore once and for all. Now, warriors, we must storm the Citadel. We must find Admiral Proudmoore and put an end to him. Only then will our nation be safe. We are with you, Rexar. Lead on. Waktar Ogar! For the Horde! For Duratar! It's over. Stand down, humans. Father. Why wouldn't you listen? Above all else, Jaina, he was a proud warrior. Remember him as such. Duratar is now safe. We have no further quarrel with these humans. We will leave your isle in peace, Jaina. I pray we never have to come here again. Farewell, sorceress. You saved our nation, Rexar. For that, I can never repay you. Will you return to Duratar with us and make a new home for yourself? I appreciate your offer, Thrall. But I am Machnathal, a wanderer. I belong in the wilds amidst the beasts and elements of the land. But know this, brother. I will always be a part of the Horde. I will always be there when you need me. Farewell, 